Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce and welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. Clownfish TV came out the gate swinging. A lot of people have been saying that Clownfish TV doesn't advertise their stuff well and they really would like them to advertise their stuff well. And a few people told me that they're like, hey, Clownfish TV doesn't do this and like you should definitely make sure that, you know, you're advertising their Crimson Wren stuff because, well, they... they they need help, I guess. Apparently, they don't because Clownfish TV is absolutely proving why there is a need for comic books that are not the big two. And these guys aren't even doing a superhero comic. These guys are doing an action-adventure based off of the Goonies that looks like it's Treasure Planet, and it's flipping incredible. I say flip, I gotta get it far enough away from that first 30 seconds. Without any further ado, let's introduce today's beer. We are drinking the Big Grove Brewing Tailwind Golden Ale. I love me my golden ales, they are delicious. Mmm. Mmm, a little piney on the end. Smooth on the front, piney on the end. Overall, not a bad beer. Ooh, very smooth, very smooth. Ooh, nope, that piney flavor is not that bad. That's usually based on the hops, the amount of hops. Like, if you get a piney flavor, that's usually the amount of hops that they use to brew the beer. However, uh, let's just uh, get into this. Let's go over to Twitter, the hellscape of Twitter. All right, we are over here on Neon's page. Neon, we passed $30,000 with almost a month left on the clock. Thank you for the support. Um, Neon, you guys deserve the support. You guys have been pointing out things that are happening in mainstream comic books, mainstream media, uh, and the business side of things, which a lot of people don't really understand the business side of things. And you guys put it in a way because you have the experience and you can explain it to those of us who just don't know how all this stuff works with publishing and you know, having these different managers and these, we just don't know. And so thank you, Clownfish TV. And it's part of the reason I'm so excited for your book. And I found out that my lovely wife, at, as of right now, I believe she has ordered Crimson Wren Volume 1. She told me that she did that today. And she has also ordered the Shadow Binders Volumes 1 and 2. I, I'm pretty sure it's both of those volumes. Uh, but she ordered the Shadowbinders volumes off of your website, I believe, from your overstock. So I will be covering the Clownfish books here on the channel and doing, uh, well, what I really want to do with the channel. Let's go over to Indiegogo and let's hit the refresh button because this thing has been up for days and days. And let's watch this number change here. We're going to hit refresh. Hopefully my internet, bam, oh my god, that... That is a big 203% of the $15,000 fixed goal with 27 days left, it says. Oh my God. Guys, we're coming out in force. The people who want good stories, something that we can show our children and have our children grow up with, and that's really why I'm excited about this book. We're winning. We are doing it. We are showing that we want just good stories. We want to support the people who seem to be honest with us. I don't know Clownfish TV. I've never met them, but it seems like they're fairly honest people. I'm not, I, I've never met them, but I feel like they're honest with me in their videos. They don't treat me like I'm stupid. They don't pander. They seem uh, to have lost some business dealings in the past because of their honesty, and I do appreciate that. Oh my God, I have YouTuber voice. Oh my God, I have YouTuber voice. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize I was doing it. Oh man, the YouTuber voice. It's so hard not to speak in that cadence. But anyway, getting back to this. $30,000 in just under a week. And especially because this was, they kept this under the radar. And one of the things that I found out listening to Clownfish when they were talking about this is what they do is they, uh, for their for their books specifically, when you purchase their book here and you give them money in this crowdfund here, they already have everything taken care of for this book. So now 
this money is going to go into their next project. So if you want the next project from Clownfish TV to come out and be just as awesome as this one, all you have to do is buy this project. And then you are actually funding the next book and the next project and then so on and so forth, which is really cool because usually you're paying for the product that you get but by doing this, they're actually able to show the support that they have and show the excitement that is around the book by letting people know that if you buy, th if you go into this one, we already took care of the back end. You guys are going to get your books for sure. But this funds the next one and the next one and the next one and so on and so forth. And I think that that is such a fantastic business strategy. And I think that that is something that could really, really, really benefit a lot of smaller creators out there is maybe finding a way to get everything set up on the back end and going for it now they also talked about going through american printers so hashtag support small businesses here at home i absolutely love that they're doing that they're going through the american printers they did let us know that the, the american printers are so backed up right now which is fantastic because the american printers being backed up means that they're getting work they're employing people and people are taking home money to feed their kids and put dinner on the table and they are their printers are so busy that there's a chance we may not see crimson wren volume one in the hands of the people who bought it until March of next year. That's totally fine. That means that we be we just need to be patient because these people are putting bread on the table for their families and making sure that they are are providing in the best way that they can. And so by supporting Clownfish TV and people like Eric July, we are supporting local homegrown American businesses, which is something that I think is so fantastic and so important to the modern day. Supporting the people who are providing these products for us here at home for a good wage for an honest wage and so all we have to do is just wait a little longer and you know what that's fine because the longer i wait that means the more their kids eat because that's how much business they have and i am totally fine with that having too much business is never a bad problem to have i am so overly excited for this and then my again my lovely wife let me know that um she purchased the crimson rim volume one today i i killed her i said hey baby i can't think of a topic and i scrolled on twitter and i'm glad i scrolled on twitter because i got to see this and it just lifts my spirits so much to see these indie creators doing these things that they love and so with all of that being said, guys, this is going to be a little bit of a shorter video. Usually I try to run about 10 minutes, but I have a stream to set up. We're doing Brawlhalla tonight, um, and we do the live Brawlhalla with you guys. You guys get to come in, and you guys get to beat the holy pants off of us, and we love that. We think it's fantastic when you guys do that, so we're going to go do that. Also, don't forget down in the description below and I have to remember to add this and I'm totally going to forget I just started a gilded server that's basically a discord um alternate tech platform because discord is getting really weird with some of the rules about how they're going to ban people gilded isn't like that and so if you guys would like to join the a drink with crazy gilded community go check out the description down below and become a part of that community and let's have these conversations over there also that's where i've got my beer recommendations because you guys have been sending in beer recommendations through the comments uh over the last few weeks and i have completely and utterly forgotten to write them down because I I just I suck. I I am so sorry. And I want you guys to be able to engage. And not only that, maybe I'll start a thread over there where you guys can come in and recommend indie creators that believe in supporting American homegrown businesses and support good storytelling and support a lot of the values that we support. That would be another great thing, which I'm going to have to go to Gilded and add that as well. So thank you guys all so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. Your support has been unparalleled. I never thought that this channel was going. I'd have we, uh, this channel's been up since like 2017, 2018, and we just couldn't grow. It started out as a political commentary channel. I wiped all of that footage because I just I didn't I didn't feel like that's where I wanted to go. And then we started talking about movies and comic books and TV, 
and all this stuff that that we love where we can still talk about the political nature of these things the storytelling the philosophies the science of it all um, and some of the business practices out there and we still couldn't catch traction for years we couldn't catch traction but for some reason all of a sudden you guys are supporting this channel and I don't want to let you down and I want to give you guys a way to contact us and that's through Gilded and so if you want to contact me go to the Gilded server again link in the description below and we are going to make magic in the world of modern American storytelling so with all that being said guys thank you so much hit the like button for me because I'm supposed to say that because apparently YouTube loves that like button Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all next time right here on A Drink With Crazy. Cheers, everyone. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.